welcome to this module and this module is a short module uh, where we will look at the uh, DC offset parameters of op amp it is also called op amp specification and uh, we will quickly rewind whatever we have done in this particular lecture. So, uh, uh, if you if you can come on the screen what you see is even though the input voltage is 0 there will be an output right. So, what you should do when you are in the laboratory try to ground your non inverting terminal and the inverting terminal right and see what is output voltage V o see what is output voltage V o ideally it should be 0 right ideally it should be 0, but what you will find that even the input voltage is 0 there will be an output or there will be an output this is called offset this is called offset the following can cause this offset what first is input offset voltage we have seen right output voltage offset voltage due to input offset current we have seen input offset current total offset voltage due to input offset voltage and input offset current and input bias current we have seen every parameter and these are the parameter these are the parameters these are the parameters that will cause the offset that will cause an offset ok. So, what is imp input offset voltage we have seen nothing but input offset voltage that is voltage that must be applied to the input terminals of the op amp to null the output voltage to make the output voltage 0 you see here you see here we are applying uh, a small amount of input voltage uh, such that my output voltage will become 0 when I when I connect both my input terminals to ground when I connect both my input terminals to ground my output voltage should be 0, but it is not 0 that is why I have to apply some amount of voltage at the inverting and non inverting amplifier uh, so that I can get the output voltage equal to 0 that is to null my output voltage typically if you come back on the screen what you will see typically the value is 2 millivolts and the maximum the value is 6 millivolts typically value is 2 millivolts and maximum is 6 millivolts when operated in an open loop condition right must be nulled or device may get saturated device may get saturated right because a small amount of input voltage uh, the, the output voltage will keep on uh, increasing in case of the open loop gain because open loop has infinite gain as we know. So, output will be saturated that is why before we use in open loop uh, or in a closed loop even we have to always try to null the output voltage this nulling can be done by have help of the input offset voltage V i o ok. So, if you move to the next one input offset current we have seen this uh, uh, the algebraic difference between the input currents right algebraic difference between the input currents is my input offset current these are the base currents and are usually nulled uh, typically value is 20 nanometer the maximum of 200 nanometer minimum is 20 nanometer maximum is 200 nanometer. So, what is the technical to null the output voltage V o right what is the technique to make V o equal to 0. So, first is first is you do this thing short input terminals to ground you see short input terminals to ground we are grounded connect the potentiometer between compensation and V e wiper see we, we are connecting now between 5 and 1 right what we are connecting a potentiometer you see we are connecting potentiometer now this is the role of your another terminals or other pins of the operation amplifier you know there are how many pins 8 1 2 3 4 let us see 1 is your uh, uh, we are not connected one right inverting 3 is non inverting minus VCC not connected 6 is output 7 is VCC right between 1 and 5 between 1 and 5 1 and 5 is used for offsetting the null uh, VO to null VO to null and 8 is not connected. 8 is not connected. So, 1 and 5 between 1 and 5 you can connect the potentiometer right connect the potentiometer between the pins with wiper to V e now now what we have to do potentiometer is usually a 10 ton device we know that connect meter output and adjust the potentiometer such that my output voltage becomes 0 by connecting this to, to V e e right uh, and then if I change my potentiometer if I keep on changing my potentiometer I will reach a value of output voltage V o equals to 0 I will reach a value output voltage equals to 0 this is a technique to null your output voltage V o. So, and what we have seen we have seen input bias current right uh, uh, to quickly say the average uh, of the current that flows into inverting and non inverting terminals 
uh, the value is around 7 to 8 nano ampere. Differential input resistance also known as input resistance is nothing but the resistance when you look at the input terminal of the device the, the value runs from 2 mega ohms for NM741 to as I has 1012 uh, uh, for FE input impedance or uh, FET input input device. Output resistance resistance between the output terminal and ground that is your output resistance typical value is a 75 ohms or less. Input capacitance equivalent capacitance measure between either inverting and non inverting terminal is your input capacitance uh, uh, with respect to ground may not be on all specific seats. So, specification seats when we see a specification seat of an operation amplifier you may not be able to see the input capacitance typically the value of uh, input capacitance for LM741 is 1.4 peak uh, picofarad. So, what is that the equivalent circuit the equivalent capacitance measure at either inverting or non inverting either inverting or non inverting terminal with the other terminal that is connected to the ground all right. So, capacitor between inverting and ground or non inverting and ground between inverting and ground or non inverting and typical value is 1.4 1.4 picofarads typical value is 1.4 picofarad. Uh, what is power supply range? Power supply range may be may be differential or single ended power supply we have seen in the st uh, starting of this lecture maximum is plus 20 plus minus 22 volts most of the time what we use is plus minus 15 volts most of the time what we use is plus minus 15 volt right. Output voltage swing output voltage swing is what range of output voltage right depends on power supply voltage and typically is about plus minus 13.5 volts. Now, this is when your output voltage is plus minus 15 volts. So, this is how much output voltage can swing it can swing maximum to 85 to 90 percent of the 85 to 90 percent of the supply voltage all right. So, range of output voltage depends on the power supply voltage and usually about 85 to 95 percent uh, usually about 13.5 volts uh, uh, plus minus 13.5 if my if my supply is plus minus 15 volts if my bias is plus minus 15 volts. Slew rate the maximum rate of change in the output voltage in response to a input change maximum rate of change of output voltage with respect to the input depends greatly on the device higher is better right higher is better and output response faster to the changes that means slew rate also shows that uh, how fast my output changes when I when I change my input how fast my output changes when I change my input that is the function of the that is the function of the slew rate ok. So, now if you go to last line for LM741 uh, uh, it is about 0.5 volts per microsecond for LM41 it is 0.5 volts per microsecond and for LM318 it is about 70 volts per microsecond 70 volts per microsecond ok. Finally, the gain bandwidth product is nothing but the bandwidth of the device when the open loop gain is 1 when the open loop gain is 1 the bandwidth of the device is called my gain bandwidth product. So, these are all the op amp specifications these are all the op amp parameters or most of the op amp parameters that we have covered in this particular lecture all right. Our next lecture would be of using the operational amplifier for different applications like different circuits inverting non inverting differential amplifier integrator right summer. Uh, uh, comparator. Uh, so, we will see how the op amps can be used as a different uh, circuits in our next lecture till then you see this particular specifications whatever I have told you and this whole entire lecture was divided into four different modules uh, if I am correct uh, then uh, look at all the modules uh, understand all the modules then you will understand what are the specifications of an operational amplifier. All right. So, I will see you in the next class uh, and till then you take care and uh, uh, let us see what we learn in the next class all right bye.